These items turned up with the post at work this week. Uh, the lad that sent them hasn't sent a, didn't send a name, but they're from Yorkshire. I think I know who they're from. Some nice bits and pieces, a nice set of calipers there, big ones. Somebody's actually made them, put somebody's name on. That's what I would call an adjustable, like an adjustable V-block. Once again, somebody's made this. Somebody called Davies. It's nice to have tools like this that somebody's made. I mean, that would be quite a useful tool on a milling machine, is it? Like a steady, like a machinist sort of, like a machinist jack. Very, very nicely made. This also turned up in the same package. It's some sort of setting jig. I'm not quite sure what for. I think a dovetail in there. If anybody knows what it's for, perhaps they could, they could tell us. And the last thing is this micrometer. Now this micrometer, it's got some writing on. Newton Universal Boring Bars. It's a make for setting up boring bars. I'll show you on my boring bar how you use it, or at least how I would use it. This is one of the boring bars that I use between centers on the lathe. Now, what you would do, you would measure the, measure the hole. And you can measure your your tool there and that will give you a reading and suppose you wanted the tool or the hole ten thou bigger you could simply move the mic out five thou adjust the tool that's touching the mic again and tweak it until you've got your, your five thou and five thou say would give you the hole ten thou bigger so it is something I can use uh, it's got quite a range of adjustment you can adjust that in and out like that so it's, it probably goes up to two inch Quite a nice tool, thank you very much. Certainly different. Right, the last item is this compass which was sent in to us by a gentleman called Larry Jacobs. Larry actually makes these. It's made from stainless. It's actually got carbide tips on it. It's got a micro adjuster on so you can loosen that one, tighten that one, and it's got a little adjuster wheel there. It's basically for scraping circles. It really is nicely made, beautifully finished off. Thanks very much, Larry. That's something that I'll keep and I'll, I'll use. The shot here shows how versatile its vase is. Ideally, you need a couple of thrust bearings on here just to take the load off the, just to reduce the friction on the nuts. But I haven't got a couple of thrust bearings at the minute, so I'll just have to see how we'll get on just using the nuts. So I don't think it's going to be that tight, but I'll let you know. I know. Right, I want to find it. 716 root wire spanner. It actually fits the metric nuts quite nicely. Something's gonna happen here, definitely. Definitely something's gonna happen. I don't quite know what, but something will happen. Right, it's starting to get somewhere now. Strangely enough, the temperature in here is only about 5 degrees centigrade, but <laughs> I feel rather warm. Once it initially broke away, it's coming off no problem at all. Some thrust bearings under here would make a massive difference. Giving in the bastard. Oh, that's warmed us up a little bit. 
Tiedän me. That's the, the bear, as you can see, it's had quite a, a miserable existence in there. The next thing to take out is the oil seal, that's that thing in there. That's the oil seal there. And then we'll be taking out the outer rears. Right, that's the oil seal. It's actually a leather, a leather seal in the new one. Modern idea is plastic. No doubt it'll do the job. Right, so if we were to be a MIG weld around that bearing, when the MIG weld cools, the bearing will shrink and the interior should just drop out. Right, the well's cooled down now, so in theory it should basically fall out of there. Which it is, it's moving, no problem. Right, that's it. You saw the welds. All happens is the weld shrinks, contract the bearing, the bearings drop out. You should quite a lot more amount of practice. Right, this needs cleaning up. Uh, the seal putting in, the bearing putting in, and then basically reassembling. This was in down to that shoulder down there, it should not be in quite easily. I do think I'll have to make a, a tool to install it, but you never know. You always find that's the, that's the lip there, you put that towards the oil or grease. This is actually an oil fed bearing, so the oil's in there and the bearing that goes down through there, and that lip is what seals on the half shaft to stop the oil running out. Or at least just slow it down. Right, that's it level with the, the face that wants to go down just below the surface. Right, I found another chuck back place here, which is just the right size. It's going to show that on, so it's going to knock that seal down below the surface. Very slightly further down than the original was, which is good because it means it'll run on a, on a nice new piece of the horse shaft.
the next out of there and track. I might warm this up. To drop the bearing in, I used to hold it on the button to put the rubber seal in. I don't think it's going to be that tight actually. Brass drift and just gently top that down. Quite the slack fit. I think what I'll do, I'll wash this out with some brake cleaner and put a little bit of Loctite on there just to just to hold it in place. It's not a particular you want to have a fit in there. But it's a piss poor fit in there. It's a slack fit, that's not very good at all. I'm wondering if this is actually the right bearing. No, yeah, that's that's no good. Right, I'll leave it at that and I'll give the lad a ring and find out what sort of fit that bearing's supposed to be in there. I'll check the numbers on the original one. All your bearings have got numbers on. England, Timken. The number is... 3720 and this is NWB it doesn't say 3720 that's for certain 13 over 4 I'll leave it to him he can to say what to do I think it's nice and tight on the on the horse shaft, that bit feels right. Fast, I think. I've got a repair job here to do for a friend. It's a pulley off a lawnmower. I'm not quite sure what's happened, but you can see it's split there where the keyway goes. I was going to weld this up and file the keyway back in, but I've actually got a brooch the right size, the correct size brooch for it. So I think what I'll be doing is putting the lathe, I'll machine that weld off take that boss out and make a new boss uh, press a boss in and recut the, sorry weld the boss in and then recut the keyway he can't get one and not available so repairing this is the only option So much penetration the well got. The basic nut should be should be thinking about coming off there now. So 
i mu trzeba pół maron. Once again, it just means to say thanks very much for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in. Um, regarding my arm, it's, it's getting better, it's it's getting stronger, but it's going to take time. Uh, basically, I'm a bit of an impatient bastard. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget, if you like what you see, uh, click the subscribe button. I'm getting very near to having 50,000 subscribers, which is uh, quite a milestone. Uh, for YouTube, anyway. This also turned up in the same package. Oh, look at that bastard light!